and as yes fellow gamers my name is it how you guys doing today i do have another banger video for you and this time it is about a weapon that i like very much the godfa prime so why the godfa prime well it's a weapon that delivers a lot of fun and it also has a very cool unique trait but first look at this Moving on to the Godfa Prime build, or as I named my weapon, the Godfather Prime. First of all, I do want to talk about the unique trait. So after inflicting a status effect, the next shot has a 50% chance to have a critical chance of 300%. So um, you're going to be red critting most of the time, which is actually insane. For the mods, I do have a very nice ribbon here. Um, provides me with toxin, critical damage, and multi-shot. Um, pretty much ideal for most of the ribbons, because if you have toxin, you can just like go for um, electricity, for example. And it's it does save your mod slots to put in something else, you know. So toxin is always nice if you have that on a ribbon. Unless you have a Kuva version, then you can always have status effect, of course. For the second mod, Hunter Munitions, I think this mod is very important too, as you just like apply a lot of slush. And, well, I mean... We're modding for Corrosive here. As you can see, we have Toxin, we have Electricity, but that's because we do have the Emerald Green Archon shots. I'm going to explain that soon, though. Plus, we also have Nourish um, on our Revenant. So, well, we have Corrosive, we have Viral, we have Slash, so that's pretty much overkill already. For the third mod, Galvanized Aptitude. It basically gives us status chance and on kill. Uh, we get 40% direct damage per status type. So that is a lot of damage that you're ramping up in the process. As mentioned, high voltage for electricity and status chance. Galvanized chamber because everybody loves multi-shot and it's just like better than the normal um, chamber mod. Serration, of course, for damage, vital sense for critical damage and critical delay for that beautiful, juicy critical chance. Of course, in the Excellence, we do have vigilante supplies as it just like provides a little bit of more critical chance and also lets us convert ammo, which is super nice. For the Arcane, you can actually go for Deadhead because um, this weapon, especially with its unique trade, um, is quite nice for like headshot kills or headshot multipliers and all that. Um, however, I, I just like the... where is it? Primary Merciless, there we go. I just like the additional reload speed. However, Primary Deadhead is, like I said, a very good choice too, as you just have less recoil, you have a bonus to headshot multiplier, so this is probably better. Just for my playstyle, I just prefer this. But um, when we go to the simulacrum, I can actually show both. And well, of course, if you're aiming for the head consistently, a primary dead head is just like so much better. Also, Frankenstein, welcome to the clan. Want to ramp up the damage even more? Don't worry, I got you. The first thing you have to do, put in two green emerald archon shots so you can fully strip armor. You can go for red ones as well to have additional primary status chance or strength on your warframe. For example, if you're running Nourish, like me, you can do that, you know? Uh, as you can see on my Revenant here, I put Nourish on his for fourth ability. Ready to kick bottom. Uh, I'm ready to kick bottom. <laughs> sure. So um, another thing you can do is you can go for Arcane Rise. On Reload, you basically get more damage. You can also go for Arcane Acceleration, which basically gives you Fire Rate. Um, if you love Fire Rate, just like me. And you can also go for Arcane Avenger, which is quite nice, especially on Revenant, as it just like provides you with that critical chance. Before we get to the gameplay, there's something I would like to show you in the simulacrum really quick. So if we go to Orican, we're going to summon 20 Corrupted Heavy Gunners, of course, on Steel Path and, well, max level, uh, as far as we can go, of course. So, um, yeah, if we start shooting, you can see it's not actually that bad. We're going to, like, already strip that armor and we already have, like, a very nice amount of critical chance and we're doing... Well, pretty good damage too, I would say, you know, it's like, since we do have Merciless, the more kills we get, the more damage we're actually doing. However, I mean, if you're aiming for the head consistently, you can easily go for primary deadhead. I'm gonna show that in just a second. But um, as you can see, I mean, those are Eximus, by the way, so they do have um, even more armor, which is super nice. I mean, considering the fact we're gonna kill them, like, so fast, but now... Oh, let's just like reset them first. There we go. Corrupted Heavy Gunner Eximus. Simulate. But now we're gonna swap to the other Arcane. Let's go to Godfather Prime. 
we are gonna head to primary missiles and now to primary deadhead. And you're gonna see, I mean, you should see a huge increase in DPS here. Just go for Nurge again. Just cast Messenger Skin, you never know. <laughs> Alright, let's see that. I mean, we do have the same damage, you know. I mean, primary merciless gives you damage, but I mean, that head does too. It just gives you like more of a critical damage multiplier. And you also have less recoil, which is kind of like noticeable if you ask me. But yeah, the more kills you do, you can see that. I mean, you're killing like super fast. So keep in mind, even though they have armor, since we're using corrosive and we also have like viral from Nourish and Hunter Munitions, which applies to slash. Well, it doesn't really matter, like, how high their level is, because you're just gonna, like, melt them, you know? You're gonna strip the armor, you're gonna apply Slash, and you also have Viral. I mean, Viral and Slash is always devastating, but if they have their armor stripped as well, that is basically GG's. <laughs> just shooting with this weapon is just, like, so much fun, dude. I, I just, like, love this praying and praying. It just feels really good. I love this weapon. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you awesome people in the next one.